to share a project in Scratch, you have to make sure you select share before you get the address. So selecting share, it's now shared. Now you can only share with Scratch if you have an account that has a verified email address. So once you have that happen, if you don't have a verified email address, you'll get a warning here. Not a, not a, not a bad idea to type a note here. So let's say averages for now. Uh, and then I can give somebody this link up here. I could choose copy link there. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to give me that same link that's up above. The nice thing about the copy is they also give me an embed option where you could stick the Scratch project in a web page, which is kind of cool too. So that's how you copy it. If you didn't copy it correctly and you try to give it to somebody else, then what's going to happen is they're going to get an error message like this. Whoops, our server is scratching its head. Can't find it because it hasn't been shared properly. So please, when you have a project, make sure you shared it. You can be sure you shared it. When you look back inside, it says shared. Now I know other people can access it if they have the link. Uh, again, they wouldn't need the editor link because they're not the editor. They just need the part of the address up to the end of the number of the project. And so that's the way we share in Scratch. Okay. 